So today we are going to look at the ENSA final skills exam, the final packet research exam through which we are going to test our skills on what we've learned on the enterprise networking and security automation. So I'll click and um, I'm using, I'm going to take assessment and I'm using the latest version of packet tracer. Okay, so I'll just wait, then uh, open packet is executable. I'll give it some time so that you can load and uh, we'll begin from that point. Okay, so we're going to start assessment. And give it some time so that the packet is a file can be loaded to our packet is application. Okay, so I'll open packet tester. So this is the test. Okay, so we have the topology and the instructions on the left side and uh, the physical diagram on the right. And I'll, read, I'll go through the instruction so that we can begin the task. So yes, the addressing table. And as you can see, we have several interfaces that we need to configure. And now we go to the instruction. I'll just read through the instruction very fast. Then, okay, so we may begin in this packet. You will configure devices in a small network. You will complete all tasks in physical mode. You will not have access to logical topology. You will place devices in proper locations and power them on. You will configure routers, switches, PCs to support IPv4 for hosts. The routers and the switches must be managed securely. You will be configured. You will configure SPF version two, NAT, and access control list. And then, uh, further, we are required to back up uh, the working configuration to FTP server and upload a working configuration to another device. Okay. So device version of image are used in switches. You will update switch to use the latest version. It's fine. All right. So let's begin. Place devices in proper location and connect them with the proper cables. All right. So step one. Place devices in proper location inside the wiring closet. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have a physical mode here on the right. And as you can see, the devices have been placed on the shelf. And when you move to the right, you see an empty rack here, this one, and the cables on either side. Then you, if you move down, you will see tables, table one and table two. So if I try to zoom out, you can see it better. We see the devices on the shelf and uh, the rack here and the two tables and uh, finally the cables so guys i'll start just reading the statement and see what to do organize the rack for ease configuration place router one router two system one two three and four from top down with some space between the devices so we are being has to place router one two then switches one two three four on the rack here on which order top to down and we should leave some spaces in between the devices so i'll just proceed very fast so that we save time what i'll do guys you know we, we can't identify which router is router one and router two here so what you do maximize here maximize again okay so and i'll just a little bit do this okay so as you can see now here we can identify which router is router one and which router is router two and as you can see here we have router one and router two meaning 
Rata 1 is the one on top and Rata 2 is the one below, okay? Switch 1 and switch 2, switch 3 and switch 4, and uh, we have Rata 3 and Rata 2 here, okay? And then we move down here, this is switch 0 on top and we we'll multiply switch 0 bottom and this is multiply switch 1 okay then we go down this is PCC then we have Meraki server on top and DNA server here and uh, finally we have the two PCs here PCA and PCB okay so what I'll do is just try to minimize again so that we can proceed now that we have um, identified that which devices are these now we can begin placing them on the rack and we've been told to use top down okay so we'll start from router one then router two okay. so guys we're going to start drag to 43 31 routers are one and are two from the shelf to the rack so guys as we saw earlier we said these are our r1 and r2 okay so we'll just uh, drag them so r1 was above and r2 was down r2 was below it what i'll do is just to do this uh, to see again i ma max i'm zoom out so as you can see r1 and r2 okay and we've been told to use top down so we start from r1 to down then we proceed to switches we go to switch switch one two three and four and if i try to minimize mark i mean if i try to zoom in now you can see the that this is switch one switch two switch three and switch four so they are in order and if they are not in order you are required to place them so for example we start from switch one here then switch two uh, then switch three and finally switch four okay and now we proceed to the next step which uh, uh, which uh, is about the PCs move PC to tablet 1 on the left place move PC to table 1 on the left and place it on the left hand area of the tabletop so PCC I'll just mini mark, I'll just zoom in again PCC is this one as you can see this is PCC so it's required to be moved to table 1 and this is table one so i'll just do it very fast just that way and then okay move dna server to table one on the left okay uh -huh. the left place it left and area and uh, for the dna dna server you're going to place it on the right hand area so this is the table this is the left hand and uh, this is the right hand so we're going to drag dna server and place it on the other side so let me maximize again zoom in i mean so this is the dna server the one below so i'll just drag it and place this one here this is meraki server and this is dna server then uh, zoom out and i uh, put it here okay it's very easy and then finally move pca to table to table two on the right place it in the left hand area of the tabletop okay so pca i'll just try to check on pca among the remaining this is pca and this is pcb so what i'll do okay so move pca to the right uh, to place on the right hand table place on the table on the right then in the left hand area so pca will state will stay here while pcb will stay on the other side okay 
no problem so guys we are done with that part so the the part that is many is to connect the devices i've uh, zoomed out okay so to connect the devices guys we are going to reference on the topology here that we've been given here okay it's very very simple it's very very simple so we need to reference on this topology here okay so that's enough right so we can start with the routers as you can see we'll use a, a link between the two routers and the link will be connected to gig 0 on the both routers and remember these are added to router and for the same devices we use a crossover cable so guys let's go here oh sorry let's go here and uh, select this crossover cable crossover cable yes so that's the crossover cable and we need to connect it to a gig zero zero of router one to gig zero zero of router two so just mark zoom in so that it they can be seen okay so here are the routers that we have zoom in again okay so this is router one and this is router two and we've been asked to to connect the devices okay so what i'll do i'll just check that which which interface is gig zero zero as you can see that is gig zero zero i place that cable there then i come to router two which is gig zero zero and i place the cable there so guys as you can see we have a crossover cable connecting gig zero zero to gig zero zero of the two routers okay so let's proceed again now let's start from router one to switch one okay so router one to switch one we're going to use a copper straight through okay we are going to use copper straight through because the router to switch we use copper straight through take that one okay so we use which port on the on router one we use gig zero zero two to gig zero one of switch one so let's go to router one which we check which 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 part gig zero zero two that one right i click on that one then i move to switch one which is this one then you connect it to which port gig zero one okay that's first first than it first than it first than it first than it that's the gig zero one okay you connect it there so guys if i over over this cable and you will see it's a crossover cable connecting router one through zero zero one to switch one through gig zero one okay so we proceed to let me do this again just a minute okay and a little bit of this side okay all right so we take it from router one to switch two okay router one to switch two connect from router one zero zero one to switch two zero one so i still choose a, a crossover cable just this one copper crossover i mean straight through sorry we take a straight through cable then you connect to router one zero zero one okay that one just try to hover and when you see a pop-up like that just click all right now it's clicked then we go to switch to we connect it gig zero one this one right click that way and try to hover over this cable and you will see it's connecting router one from zero zero one to switch to zero one okay all right so guys let's connect 
router 2 to switch 3 and switch 4 so I'll do that one very fast make sure to zoom in so that the devices can become larger okay all right so I'll take this one connect a switch to a router we use straight through cable then if you need to connect router to router use copper crossover so we connect router 2 to switch 3 router 2 0, 0, 2 to switch 3 0, 1 so router 2 router 2 0, 0, 2 that one that interface can you see it I click then I move to switch 3 0, 0, 1 0, 1 I mean gig 0, 1 so this is switch 3 and that is interfaces gig 0, 1 I click that but it's like I never clicked on the upper interface of the router 2 so I'll do it again which is this one uh -huh, just a minute that one I click it there okay all right so if I try to over this cable you will see it's connecting switch 3 gig 0 1 to router 2 gig 0 0 2 right so let's connect router 2 to switch 4 router 2 to switch 4 0 0 1 to 0 1 okay i take again uh, straight through cable we come to router 2 0 0 1 now just uh, hover until you find the 0 0 1 Uh -huh. Just try to move until you find zero zero one that one and sorry uh -huh. just a minute that one then I click is it really clicked there yeah, let me just do it again okay so let me try on switch for zero zero one this one this interface so it's not clicked above so i'll just go up and again and try it so just make sure it's accurate that that spot okay now it's clicked hover over it you will see it's connected to switch four zero one two router two zero zero one okay so let's make connection between switches and the pcs okay okay that is very easy i'll try to zoom out a little bit okay sorry not the computers on the right side uh, let's just start from pca so pca is on this side pca is connected to switch one so we just take straight through cable and we connect to a first internet port of this pca then to switch one fa05 so fa05 is somewhere here just a minute fa05 that one and you click that way over over it you see it's connected to pca first than zero switch one fa05 is it 546 it's five i believe yeah it's five then you connect pcb to switch two this is pcb we just take straight through cable to first than zero to switch to fa0 slash five same that part then I over it pcb first than zero switch to first than zero five good so I move on the left side and do the national configuration the DNS service connect to switch 3 through FA0 slash 10 so I'll do that one very fast I'll take a, a straight through cable then I move to the DNS server I click I click the port then we move to switch 3 switch 3 is this one which port FA0 slash 10 
I'll just try to locate where the port is. That one, right? Okay. Move over the cable. See the information. DNS server 63 FA 0 10. And finally, we connect PCC to switch 4. Through which interface FA 0 10. Okay. So I take this cable here. Just click on it. Then you connect here. You connect here until it turns green. Then you come to switch 4 FA 0 slash 10. Just a minute. That interface, right? And I click. See the information? Everything is connected as expected. So zoom out zoom out so everything is connected as expected so i'll proceed with the instruction i'll proceed with the instruction okay so step two make sure all the devices are powered on how do you ensure that let me try to click on pc all usable tabs are hidden or locked on the there will remain closed okay all right so let me just uh, zoom in again uh -huh. and zoom in again there's just one thing that I want to show you on the pieces yes so as you can see guys this PC is shut down it's it's not powered on. it's not powered on you see the button is here and the button has not been powered on okay so what to do just click on it and as you can see now it is green okay okay so let me just move left and the server also just click there see changes then you come to this PC also click it you see changes now and finally you click and you see changes okay and let's check the routers but the switches the switches don't have any button now we proceed directly to the routers for the routers I'll maximize again do they really have button on these sides I'll try to maximize again to check if they really have buttons on this side okay just a minute okay just a minute inspect rear okay just a minute what i'll do i'll just try to check if the routers are also powered on if they are not powered on then i'll uh, do them let me just click device is locked ok inspect rear ok just a minute the routers are all not just just a minute let me just maximize again it's uh, quite challenging I'll just do this Okay, so inspect rear. Uh -huh. Okay, so the router is on. Also, this one inspect rear, and you click on there's something like a zero, one, zero, and a minus. Just click on the zero and close. And now the router is on. Okay, okay, I believe the routers are on, and I've just done the right thing. And for the switches, they're always on. Okay. All right. So what I'll do is very simple. What I'll do is very simple. I just zoom out again and uh, proceed to step three. Connect devices according to the topology. Use logical diagram to connect the devices 
to the correct pump to, with the correct cables. We've just done that. So we move to part two, which is to configure basic device settings. Okay. All right. So for part two, configure PCs with IPv4 addresses. Okay, so we need to configure, configure the PCs with the IPv4 addresses. We'll use the addressing table here. Okay, we'll use the addressing table here. Let's start with PCC. This is PCC. PCC. And uh, PCC, the IP address is... Uh, IP address, IP address is this one? Just a minute. Okay. That's the IP address. Which is uh, 172.16.2.5. Subnet mask of uh, 255 slash 24 notation. Then default gateway will be 172.16.2 okay and DNS server DNS server is this one I'll just copy DNS server is this one the IP address of DNS server is this one Yes, IP address of DNS server is that one. So I'll just click again and paste this one there. And now we've configured PCC IP address. So let's move to PCA and B. I'll click on PCA IP address, then paste the DNS. Okay. So we move to IP address, which is this one copy and I paste here sorry okay now subnet mask will be slash 29 notation slash 29 notation is equivalent to let me just calculate very fast it's uh, 255.255.255.248 okay all right and the default gateway is this one okay so we paste that and we let me co copy the dns server we close then we take this one pcb and we paste the dns server okay all right so we come back here and take ip address of pc pcb And uh, just a minute. Subnet mask that one, as you can see, slash 24 notation. And this is default gateway. So that's done. Okay. So let's move to the next step, which is to, which is to just a minute. So we've been told to we've been told that all the configurations are made through direct console connection very important very important so configure router one and router two with the following so before that before that guys what i'll do i'll be using this pc to access these devices the routers through console port so we just take console cable just take console cable here and let me zoom in let me zoom in just a minute then you come to PC here you place it on RS232 after taking console cable place it there then we go to router one we start from router one this one okay so we check which port is console port 
so I'll just try to hover until I find console port so I'll just have to give me some time okay in, in case I can't find the console port then I'll just right click and say inspect rear okay and check which port is console that one right and I click there all right so I move to PC a PCC here click on PCC then you come to terminal and leave everything the way they are and click OK so as you can see we have accessed the router from this PC just say no enable all right so we are required to configure the following we are required to configure the following host name the first thing that we need to configure is to prevent the router from attemp attempting to resolve incorrectly entered commands that is how, what do we configure there config t first no ip domain lookup very very important and very simple okay then we configure host name host name to be this is router one i believe r1 it enter okay and then encrypted encrypted privilege exec exec secret password very important they have said encrypted exec secret password so we just go here and say enable sorry secret i paste what i've just copied cisco and pass so let me confirm if there's no okay cisco and pass and i hit enter then line console password should be the same as that one so we just say line console console zero okay then uh, line console password access password password to be i just paste again and i make sure then authenticate the user login exit the interface all right so encrypt sorry sorry set the minimum password length to 10 character so that when we say security security passwords min length min length to be 10 okay very simple and encrypt the clear text password which command we use service service password encryption we hit enter and finally configure banner MOTD banner banner MOTD then uh, let's use these characters then inside the character let's say no unauthorized access access okay all right so guys we're done with the the first router so let's go to the second router okay so we need to transfer the the console cable to router 2 how do you do it we just uh, right click on the first router and say inspect rear and also come to router 2 here and inspect rear so sorry yeah, you remove this one then come to there's a problem just give me some time let me put this on up a little bit okay so this is our router router one right click inspect rear and this is our router two right click in inspect rear okay then remove this first cable and place it on a console port on the second router okay so i'll try to press the, okay so guys as you can see now the console cable has been transferred to router two very simple just simple instruction okay so 
I'll move again to PC PCC and do the necessary. Okay. No. Enable config. T. The first thing that we need to do is to disable IP domain lookup. So we say no IP domain look lookup. Okay. Then we give host name host name to be router two. And uh, what what else? Privilege exec mode password. So we just say enable. Enable secret because they have said privilege exec secret password secret. Then I paste what I copied earlier. Okay, just a minute. I hit enter. And now console access password we just say line console zero then password the same what i've just copied hit enter and um, hmm. set the minimum password length to 10 characters so you just say secret security i mean sorry 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 so we just we've not finished on the line console zero so we just need to authenticate the user login then exit the interface all right sorry now let's uh, configure the minimum password security security passwords min length to be 10 done and um, em encrypt all clear text password what do which command we use service password encryption hit enter and finally we need to configure banner motd banner motd then these two characters inside the two characters just say no and authorized access okay hit enter all right so we are done configuring the second router all right so we move to step two number b i mean configure the interfaces of the routers router one and router two as follows configure gig zero zero with the description and ipv4 okay configure gig zero zero one with description and ipv4 addressing configure interface of this one with this description and that one all interfaces should be ready to send and receive traffic very important okay so what we're doing to do we have to go to the addressing table and remember our console cable is still on the router 2 so we need to begin from router 2 so here are the interfaces of router 2 okay okay so i'll just click on this sorry come terminal okay so we are still in router 2 in router 2 so interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 okay then we've been asked to give the description and IPv4 address and make it ready to use. So this is the IP address. I'll copy. I'll copy. Sorry. IP add. Okay. And subnet mask of slash 30 notation, which is equivalent to 255.255.255.255. Two five two, okay, and let's make it ready to use. No shutdown. Okay, then description, description. Let's say this is R two gig zero slash zero slash zero. Although this is not the best way to give a description, you can say this interface connects to either switch or the other router. Who knows? all right so I exit this interface then we move to gig 001 
this one then let's give it a description first something like that okay all right so ipv4 address ip address will be this one i copy and i say ip address i paste and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 slash 24 notation hit enter and then no shutdown exit finally gives it to 0 to let's give it a description okay then IP address should be this one. okay IP address with that one with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.255.0 slash 27 notation then no shut okay exit okay okay so anything else that we can configure on router 2 before we go back to router 1 okay ssh so let's do ssh for router 2 before we proceed to router 1 to configure the IP addressing and the SSH. So, the first thing that we do here, we use IP domain name of sys. I'll copy this. Okay. So, IP domain name. Domain name. I paste that. Hit enter. And then create username and password of this one. So, username. Username is uh, admin and a password of a secret password sorry so we just say username is admin then secret admin one pass admin one pass okay username admin password which is in is as is encrypted secret admin one pass okay all right set login to vt vty line so and vty vty 0 to 15 we always have uh, 16 interfaces on the vty line so 0 to 15 okay set to lock uh, log to local database login local and then um, login set vt line to access ssh only so what do we what do we say transport Tran transport input ssh okay and then uh, now what do we do exit the interface we've been asked to do what use a crypto rs crypto key with 10 24 bits modulus length so we just say crypto key modulus crypto key generate rss rsa then you hit enter length of 1024 okay and uh, which version of ssh should we use ip ssh version 2 all right so we are done on switch on the router 2 we're done with the router 2 so i'll proceed to router 1 to configure ip addresses and ssh okay so let me just do this then i proceed to router 1 <sighs> what do i do now i re remove the console cable from router 2 then place it into router one inspect rear inspect rear then remove this cable here place on router sorry inspect rear again i've placed the wrong switch on the wrong part let me okay so router one console pcc rs 232 
okay, that's right okay so I click again come terminal click okay okay so what was our password I've forgotten our password so I'll just try to retrieve the password sorry <laughs> so paste that it was Cisco con pass sorry Cisco this one it's Cisco and pass sorry Cisco sorry 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 Cisco okay enable then I paste the same okay I think I made uh, a mistake to configure a wrong password for console access I copied the same for these two cases and I'll make sure that I correct that now line console zero mm -hmm. password password to be Cisco so I'll copy this one I use this one but they're different I thought they were the same so it's Cisco Cisco compass okay login exit okay now we can proceed to configure IP addresses to the interfaces all right so what do I do terminal same okay so interface interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 we just give it a description first description this interface this this is r1 gig 0 0 0 okay then i pair this of this one then i pair this ip address then we paste that a seven mask of slash start notation which is going to two 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 five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five two okay then what else is remaining no shut exit we proceed to gig zero one we give it a description okay then IP address which is this one IP address a solid mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero slash twenty four notation then not sh no shut not shut no shut down exit then finally to the second interface then description uh -huh. and now I pair this I pair this is this one I'll paste and a seven mask of slash twenty nine notation which is equal to two five five two five five two five five two forty eight hit enter no shut okay exit so let's proceed to configure SSH very fast I proceed to configure SSH very fast then I'll go back to the second router to correct the passwords you know I configure the same password for the two route for the two levels so I'll correct it uh -huh. so let's move to part C for the first router <sighs> we need to configure domain name we, we configure which command IP domain name let me copy this hit enter then username username of admin 
and the secret of uh, secret uh, secret of admin one pass admin one pass that's okay then we've been told to log into line vty line vty 0 to 15 okay then login local to use local database login local then set vty lines to accept ssh connections only what do we use transport transport input ssh then exit the interfaces exit the interface the LAN protocol then we go to we generate crypto crypto key generate rsa amulus length of 1024 okay okay then we which version of which version of ssh ip sorry ip ssh version 2 okay so we are done with router 1 guys i'll go very fast to correct the error that i made earlier inspect rear inspect rear okay i remove this one and place here for the time being just a minute okay so it's here yes so i'll correct the password that i made i'll correct the password this is r2 good so as you can see hop 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 i use the same passwords i use the same password for the two levels which is wrong so i need to re-enter a line vty line console i mean line console zero password to be just a minute just a minute just a minute this one cisco compass login exit all right so you may proceed very fast step three config configure switches switch one two three and four configure hostname according to the addressing table configure management vlan set the ipv4 address and activate the interface configure default gateway guys that's this is very simple so we proceed again we proceed again so uh -huh. what i do inspect rear come to switch one inspect rear remove uh, console cable then place on the console part of the switch so as you can see this console cable is connecting switch one and pc c okay go to pcc terminal okay so this is switch one enable config t close a little bit we need to configure host name then management vlan and default gateway that's very simple guys very very simple so what i'll do i'll go back to the addressing table i start from switch one very simple and very interesting you know just a minute good so so host name host name is switch one s one good and then uh, we'll we need to configure management vlan interface vlan vlan one good then we assign which ip address this one copy ip address a seven mask of slash 29 which is 255.255.255.248 
and then we need to activate that interface no shut okay and we give the default gateway so I copy the default gateway I copy the default gateway exit this one first exit the interface IP default gateway I copy that one then do show start just a minute there's just one thing that I need to confirm interface villain one is okay okay so that's fine then I move to let me see if there's something that I need to configure before I move to step 4 okay nothing at all so we can proceed to configure what I was configuring right now okay so here the, the addressing table so we proceed to switch to right click inspect rear right click inspect rear okay you move this one and place there so it's on switch to good so what i'll do come terminal and everything is okay enable config t uh -huh. what's the name what's name to be switch to good and then uh, interface vlan one ip address ip address should be this one switch to good this is switch to good ip address that one a separate mask of uh, slash 24 notation which is uh, 255.255.255.0 okay then no shutdown exit ip default gateway to be this one i copy and i paste sorry sorry IP IP default gateway to be 192.0 I copied wrongly 168.1.1 okay okay so do show run okay it's fine it's okay so I close that one then we proceed to switch 3 just come here so inspect rear and switch 3 also inspect rear click on switch 2 then remove it place it there okay so it's on switch 3 as you can see switch 3 pcc good it's very interesting terminal terminal okay enable config t host name host name to be switch 3 okay then interface VLAN 1 IP address to be this one with the subnet mask of slash 27 notation slash 27 notation is clear on 255.255.224 then no shutdown exit because let me just confirm something here shut shut okay okay so let's see no shut okay it's fine then ip exit first ip default get ip default gateway to be this one default get it to be that one hit enter and do show run okay so it's fine I don't need to worry about anything it's fine
so let's move very fast to switch for inspector inspector okay drag place there then we come back to let me move about the console cable I can as you can see switch for pcc good move to pc terminal okay so enable config t config t host name to be host name to be switch for good then interface vlan one ip address to be very fast this one be that one and the slash 24 notation which is equivalent to 255.255.255.0 then no shut exit then ip default gateway to be this one here i copy and uh, sorry ip default gateway i paste all right do right okay so guys i think uh, we are going at a very very good speed we are proceeding well so we need to configure a single area or spf configure a single area or spf routing configure the spf process using process id one manually configure the router id using 001 for this router one and 002 for router 2 configure network statement for the appropriate networks on router 1 and router 2 good for the purpose of this assignment you enter your network statement in the following order all right okay 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 all right so what do we do we return the console cable to router one first inspect rear console cable is on switch four so we drag it to console port of router one okay so we are on router one okay click here terminal it's okay and that's line console which is Cisco Compass. So this is where we use Cisco and pass. Good. Config T. So let's move very fast. Mm -hmm. we, we need to use a process ID of 1. Okay. So router SPF. Make the router aware that it's, u it's using OSPF protocol with the process ID of 1 okay then route ID route ID to be 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.1 here okay and you hit enter then we advertise the networks we've been told to use this order for router 1 we must we should advertise the first network which is gig 002 network so i'll go to addressing table very fast gig 002 network for router one so i'll assume this was um i'll assume it was 64.100.1.0 okay okay so i'll copy and replace one with zero network that one and there's zero and now a wildcard mask Re remember this is slash 29 notation so the wildcard mask here is 0 .0 0 0.0.0.7 okay sorry area we give area area 0 because it was a single area OSPF here single area OSPF okay area 0 okay now another network for gig 00 
which was gig 00 is this one so I'll assume the network is also starting from 0 which is which is right I'm not assuming so the network starts from 0 another network is that one 0 and uh, start mask of slash start notation slash start notation is, is is equal to 255 255 255 dot 252 then 255 minus 252 is 3 so wildcard mask is 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 3 area 0 okay exit another thing that you need to configure regarding OSPF let me check ok we need to adjust OSPF operations ok we need to adjust OS OSPF operations on router 1 before we move to router 2 configure appropriate interface to, to not forward OSPF packets when they are not required. Configure the reference bandwidth. Adjust the reference bandwidth to 1 gigabit. Configure OSPF network as point to point network. Configure LO time for 30 seconds. So guys, we need to ident identify the which interface that doesn't need to forward OSPF had updates. So I'll just use the topology here for our tower one. This interface and this interface don't need to forward any OSPF updates. It's only this up interface because you know it's, it has a neighbor here, another router. But these ones are connected to the Ethernet network, the switches. Okay. So this interface and this interface will not forward OSPF updates so we need to configure them as passive interfaces okay all right so I'll go here and just say router OSPF one then I say passive interface of to be sorry sorry let me just confirm again gig 002 and gig 001 okay gig 002 and gig 001 okay all right and then we need to adjust what again let me just see again adjust the reference bandwidth okay okay let me just uh, reference just a minute bandwidth reference and recognize command let me just try to remember again remember now auto cost we just use auto cost auto cost reference bandwidth to be one gigabit but you know we need to convert into one mbps so we multiply 1000 which will become just a thousand okay one gigabit into mb ps will be one thousand okay hit enter all right no problem okay so that's done that's done so configure ospf network as point to point guys as you can analyze this 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 topology here this router to this router it's a point-to-point -point network you see they are directly connected to each other okay so we are going to configure this interface as ip spf network point-to-point -point, okay all right so that's very easy just do it very fast so that interface is uh, gig 000 so interface gig 0 0 0 IP OSPF network to be point to point good hit enter 
and then we've been told to use a load timer IP or SPF hello timer to be 30 seconds just like 30 and that's done exit and do right so guys we are done with the router 2 router 1 I mean we can proceed to the other router okay we've configured OSPF on the first router so let's proceed to the second router so what do you do inspect rear inspect rear then remove this one and place there good and scroll click on our pc come terminal and okay so the password was cisco con pass cisco con pass enable then then uh, this one was cisco and pass good config t all right so let's start we configure our spf the first thing that we need to do process id we, we need to you we need to make the router aware that it's, it's using our spf as the routing protocol with the process id of one then router id route ID of uh, dot, uh, zero dot zero dot zero dot two okay then we advertise the networks so we need to follow this order here gig zero zero two then gig zero zero gig zero 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 so we go to tables and we proceed to router two okay so this is the network that's a IP address so the network will be network will be I paste this one here and that's zero a separate mask sorry 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 so we've been told to use there's an order that you need to follow gig zero zero two and gig zero zero so the first one was gig zero zero two which is this one I copy so here the network will be let me just try to contemplate here the network will be 128 dot 128 dot 128 gig 002 then gig 000 i believe i'm not wrong okay a separate mask of uh, slash 27 which is 25 now we use world card mask and the slash 27 notation is equivalent to 255 255 255 dot 224 then 255 minus 224 is equivalent to 31 so 0 dot 0 dot uh, 0 dot 0 dot 31 that's good area 0 then another network is this one There's another network there. Network paste. Sorry, another network is one and eight dot fifty one dot hundred dot zero and the wildcard mask of zero dot zero dot zero dot three. Shall I start a notation? Then area zero exit good we need to adjust OSPF so configure prop appropriate interface that do not forward OSPF updates so for router 2 gig 001 and gig 002 do not forward OSPF updates okay so just enter router router ospf1 then passive interface to be gig zero zero one and zero zero two okay 
all right then configure the reference bandwidth adjust the reference bandwidth to one gigabit so we just say auto cost reference bandwidth to be a thousand mb okay exit okay then we point to point network so if you consider this diagram we can we'll configure this interface as a point to point or sps point to point okay which is gig zero 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 so interface gig zero 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 ip or spf network to be point to point then ip or spf or spf hello timer to be 30 okay okay this great they have formed adjacencies so guys as you can see they have formed adjacency with the other router okay okay so exit and do right so this is my worry and it's as form adjacency okay so what is remaining is to configure access control list and NAT step one verify connectivity PCB cannot visit web server PCC cannot ping PCA okay let me just do that very fast PCC and PCA this is PCA I'll take the IP address I'll take the IP address and the pin okay so very verify connectivity pcb cannot visit this one pcc cannot visit cannot ping that one okay so we've co we've confirmed the second option okay so let's summarize that configure static NAT. configure static NAT on router one with the public IP address of this to allow PCB to access web server. This is very important. Static NAT. Okay. ACL and NAT. So, guys, so what I'll do, let me check which router is connected to the, with the console cable. It's router 2. So, what I'll do, inspect rear. On the other side also inspect here what you do you just remove this one and uh, sorry i'll just do it again remove from auxiliary and place to console good so i move to i move back to our pc here which is connected to router one so router one has also formed adjacency to the router 2 so enable and uh, the password was uh, just a minute the password was uh, cisco and pass do show run show run I've not been asked uh, LAN console password, so I know I'm very cu curious about it. But it's here. It's here, so no problem. 
no problem so config t config t we've been asked to configure static net how do we configure static net to allow router to allow pcb to access web server using a public address of this one very simple we just need to configure a static net so 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 first of all pcb what's ip address of pcb this is pc1 on this pcb let's take ip address of pcb okay i have copied the ip address of pcb then we need to access we need to access web server through a public address of this one so the ip address of this pc here pcb will be our inside local but the public ip address will be inside global okay okay right so what i do we configure router one so how do we configure static net very simple ip static no no ip net static sorry ip net source huh. ip net static source and recognize command just a minute ip net inside sorry sorry static source static the ip address of the pcb then we include the inside global which is the public ip address okay very simple ip not inside source static that one ip address of the pcb then the public ip address that we need it to be translated into then we hit enter okay all right so guys let's uh, view this topology again pcb is connected to switch switch uh, to then switch two is connected to router one through dig zero zero one so interface gig zero zero one ip not what ip not inside okay then again good ip not inside so this is ip not inside and this interface is ip not outside okay okay exit then gig zero 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 ip not out outside good exit and do right so that's done let proce let's proceed to the other questions configure part on router 2 so it, we move back to router 2 inspect here inspect here so we move back to router 2 okay 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 router 2 is here all right so we need to configure part on router 2 to enable some devices on the network attached to gig 001 interface to access the interface to internet okay then create a net pool by the name ipnet1 with ip address range this one with the subnet mask this one create a numbered access control list one to uh, to allow devices with the ip range of this one through this one to access the internet through NAT. use part to allow the range of the ip address to be shared <laughs> so interesting and challenging you know okay so what do we do 
so what do we do we need to configure part we need to configure dynamic part here because we need to create pool of some IP addresses and those IP addresses will be shared among the devices in the network okay so here is our router too what do we do IP not just a minute pool IP not pool this one IP not pool that one and I try to query what said okay starting IP address so this is the starting IP address to this one so I will copy and remove these two so I copy and what I do I just remove these two here and leave it here a range of this one dot .250 and a certain mask of a separate mask of 224 okay so let me copy I'll not copy that one I'll type no manually sorry 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 so it's IP not pool it's uh it's supposed to be IP not one good and the range should be that one and i said i'll remove this two and now what to do just write the separate mask and the case of the nut we use net mask which is 255.255.255.224 it enter good we've created a pool of IP addresses that we need to use okay so let's proceed to part 2 create access control list this one with the IP address one through okay alright so let's let's bind the access list to the NAT that you created IP NAT inside list list just access list sorry sorry IP inside let me just query I'll go to source list one okay then bind it to the pool that you just created this one it's IP not one okay let me query again what's next query IP not one then then because you know we are configuring part which keyword do we use we use overload and we hit enter because we are configuring part you know all this here as you can see this one is dynamic not okay but we, in this case we are, we are configuring dynamic part so we need to include this overload okay all right okay so now let's uh, see the range of IP address that should be allowed through this access control list at least one okay so we create another access control list access list one permit permit uh, one 72.16.2.0 okay then the subnet mask now the subnet mask will be 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.15 because the subnet mask that will support 6 15 this number of host devices should be 255.255.255.240 slash 28 notation so the wildcard mask will be this one okay 240 255 minus 240 is this one 15 hit enter 
and now what now what do we do very simple okay so we need to identify in the interface and attach it to the rules that we just created on router this one so guys it's this interface that will accept the packets the traffic from this network so we use this interface okay so we just say interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 then IP not inside anything else good inside exit do right okay so I think we've done configuring part on router 2 so I'll just proceed to see what's next okay so step 3 create a standard access control list this one to allow only PCB to access <laughs> route router 1 VTY lines apply the ACL oh so I'll copy this one configure access control is on router 1 so we go back to router 1 again inspect real and inspect real and we'll remove it place it there then uh, place it there good so let me inspect okay it's on console port click here I come okay so it's Cisco compass enable Cisco and pass okay config t we are going to co create uh, a named access control list so access control list standard access control list uh, we need to give it a number a named access control list to access a VTY line oh so what to do here guys for VTY line IP access list standard then we give it a name okay then we hit enter then we've been told to use PCB only to access the VTY interface so PCB I will take the IP address of PCB which is this one which one okay we only need that OS to access the VTY line permit so it's going to permit sorry permit what host good paste IP address and it enter good then exit this interface and now what's else we need to apply that ACL to the VTY lines okay so sorry 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 I, I, I never let me enter this line first so line VTY 0 to 15 IP access class we use this one sorry 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 let me query we use this one copy and it paste IP access class this one okay hit enter sorry 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 let me query again in good exit do right so let's proceed also we've been told to configure the same on switch one so guys this one will do very very fast very very fast I'll do it very very fast I'll copy I'll do it very very fast sorry I'll do it to switch one so inspect here this is our switch one inspect here remove and place here okay that's done come 
Alright. Okay. Enable config t do right okay so what do you need to do ip ip access list standard to be that one okay then permit host the ip address of uh, pcb which was uh, just a minute PCB was this one. I copy. Then I come here. I'll permit this one. Okay, then len VTY 0 to 15 IP IP access class this one. In okay, good, do right. Okay, so what's remaining? What's remaining? What's remaining? Let me just go very fast. Also, step five. Step five, we need to configure access control list on router two again. Okay. Configure access control list on router to configure a standard access control this one to allow only PCC to access R2 VTY interface. So this is our PC uh, router 2, this switch one. So I do very fast, place that one there, and everything is just fine. Click here, terminal and okay we are on router 2 okay so we need to create another standard access control list for v2 interfa interface ip access control list uh, standard and how do we need to call it this one it's a lot of work you know then permit host host pcc this one the, the one that we just using oh i don't want to lose some of what data that i'm using so i'll get the ip address of pcc from this point i'll copy and come here okay and i hit enter then align v2a 0 to 15 IP access class this one copy hit enter in alright so part A is done exit part A is done create an extended access control list with this name to restrict access from the internet uh -huh. very important very very important so I copy that so the way we've been doing it just IP access now we've been told to use extended extended uh -huh. then we paste that one and hit enter then permit allow FTP con connection from allow FTP connections from PCB public address to DNS server okay then deny all other FTP connection from internet to R2 lands deny all SSH connection to this one allow all types of connection okay so let's start with the part a permit tcp host uh -huh. pcb which is pcb which was uh ip address of pcb was uh okay 
PCB to access host which host DNS server yes the DNS server uh, with the IP address of uh, I'll copy the IP address of DNS server here copy that one and then uh, what else let me query EQ FTP good all right okay now deny all other FTP connection from the internet to R2 lands what do you do deny TCP any any equation EQ I mean EQ FTP good and then deny all SSH connection from the internet okay deny TCP any then any equation EQ SSH is port number 22 good then permit all other types of connection permit IP any any okay I think that's uh, that's okay I think this is okay I believe so you should consist four statement that correspond to four requirement above let me check if I have four statements one two three four good so apply access control list where do I on which interface do I apply all these access control list okay let me check just check uh, on router 2 so which interface do I apply these because we need PCB to access this one. Okay. So I think we can apply this one. The, it's here. Because we're using router 2. We're using router 2. So we can apply them to King 0. It's quite challenging. So exit interface kick zero 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 IP access group mm hmm the group was um, just a minute this one this was the group okay in right then IP not inside exit and do right <sighs> this was a very long assignment task I mean that was a very long task let me check again we are using which router are you using? Router 2. Huh, just a minute. IP access group in, then IP not outside, not inside, sorry. In, IP not outside, good. Do right. Exit. Good, so guys, we proceed to step six. Configure access control on switch on switch three to create a standard this one.
to allow this is good this is what we just turn over and over again so I'll copy that one and move to switch 3 what I do inspect rear here yeah, switch 3 inspect rear I move this one I place here okay sorry terminal that one there enable config t okay ip access this one okay sorry 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 ip access list standard then place that one okay to allow pcc okay to connect to s3 virtual interface okay that no problem pcc as a ip address of this one so i'll copy copy permit permit host that one okay all right so len vty 0 to 15 then vty 0 to 15 what do you do ip access class we paste that no 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 not this one but the named access control list paste in sorry in exit do right so we're done there let's proceed to part five perform perform configuration backup and ios update use tftp server to backup device configuration backup running configuration of r1 switch switch one switch two to the tftp server b that's very easy guys okay so we start from r1 so sorry which one is this one which this one switch switch uh, switch three so it was um, about configuring access control list okay that's okay so it's r1 switch one and switch two but we are currently on switch three which is not applicable at all so we start from r1 inspect here then switch three inspect here we remove it here place there good then we come to pc okay cisco con pass enable cisco and pass good all right so guys copy we need to copy the running configuration to tftp server copy run tftp tf tf tp okay and address of the host we've been told to use pcb so pcb is um, just a minute this one okay pcb is that one sorry 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 just a minute this one I paste that on here and destination file name so I'll just say r1 running config good waiting to write it's copied that's a success all right so do right so write 
so we move to sorry 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 guys I am I've made a mistake name the running name the configuration file as run r1 run I'll modify so let me just come here again and repeat the same statement that I've just done around now copy then it was one and one and two dot one six eight dot one dot five then I paste that and hit enter good so do right everything's okay we move to we move to switch one now yes yeah, switch one move and place here okay and we repeat, we repeat the same statement now let me copy how I'll do it I've copied that then I come here terminal okay enable then copy run tftp to tftp one and two dot one six eight dot one dot five we want the name to be switch one run config let's wait okay do right right I mean so let's move to switch two very first inspect rear inspect rear move here and place there okay so switch to mm -hmm. enable enable copy run to tf tp ip address of pcb is 192.168.1.5 and you want it to be switch to or run config copy let's wait and write good so we're done there so what's meaning is to step step to now use tftp server to update and upgrade ios obtain the new the newer version the newer iOS image from TFTP service on web DNS server. This is quite challenging, you know. This is quite challenging. Alright. The newer version of the switch, this one, configures to use the newer version of. Okay, 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 okay. So this is quite challenging, but uh, we have to go through it. Okay, obtain a new version of image from it on. Okay, okay, okay. So we use switch three. Just a minute, here. Yeah. So we use switch three. We've been told to to obtain the new version of uh, iOS image from tftp server okay so what i'll do okay i think i'll remember something exit copy tftp to flash yes to flash Hostname, we need DNS server. The DNS server is, um, I'll copy the IP address of DNS server, which is this one. Copy. And paste. Okay. Source file name. So we've been told to use this one as the source file name. and I uh, 
paste okay destination file name so destination file name should be so we just hit enter and let it access it and as you can see it's successful so guys basically what's the main is to configure a C to use this new version of is is after reloading okay that's very easy so click it okay so let's configure that very first config t okay so boot system flash flash okay then good do right so i think uh, we are almost done so i think we are almost done so what you need to do is to configure to use them on rel after reloading so do right then do reload yes okay and as you can see it's using the one that you've just used from the task so guys basically i think um, we have implemented everything as per the requirement and i believe if we can uh, submit this task now we will get good marks so i'll do that very first submit assessment so unfortunately we've gotten just uh, 79 which is not that much bad you know okay guys so please subscribe to my channel and let's see you again in the next project